So many moons ago, I did two different videos on my YouTube channel. I did one video where I dried my hair with my hair in these fishnet stockings. And I did another video where I tried this hooded bonnet for drying your hair. And today we are going to combine the two and see how they work together, how my hair turns out. So let's go and wash my hair. So today I'm using the exact same products that I used in my last video because I really Really liked my results so just like usual I am shampooing my hair twice today to make sure that it is nice and clean I'm massaging that in both times and rinsing out thoroughly I'm then taking the conditioner and running that through the ends of my hair my hair is extremely knotted today and then I tied my hair up while I wash my body just like I usually do once I was done washing my body I took my hair down I drizzled a little bit of water in my hair then I started to detangle and it was mm, it was a battle <laughs> and the reason being is because the last time I washed my hair I styled upside down so because I'm flipping to right side up today my hair is extremely knotted because I had it wavy I didn't brush it for days so it was very hard to detangle I had to add some more conditioner to my hair to try and help with detangling I was there for a while though <laughs> trying to get all these knots out. When I finally got them all out I rinsed my hair thoroughly and I just put my hair up in a towel while I got dressed. Once I was dressed I took my hair down and I noticed that my hair was <laughs> still knotted at this point even though I thought all the tangles were out. So I decided to brush style my hair. I haven't done my hair like this for ages. I felt like I should really do my hair like this today. I should have added the leave-in before this step but I forgot so <laughs> I did have to add a bit of leave-in to the part on the top of my head because that part was very knotted and I tried my best to brush down my hair then I added a little bit more leave-in to get some on the bottom layers of my hair and the sides of my hair and I scrunched that in I then took some of the Trelux gel and scrunched that into my hair in all directions and then I took two pumps of the Floracil foam and scrunched that into my hair in all directions as well and then I took my towel that I had used my towel was kind of soaking wet at this point I probably should have used a clean towel or a t-shirt but I couldn't be bothered going to find one so I just used this towel to scrunch my hair and then I went into diffusing I decided to start diffusing like I normally do I I didn't film this section but I will include a little clip of how I usually diffuse my hair and that is by hover diffusing my roots for five minutes and then I put on the fishnet tights this was a little tricky to do and then I put the bonnet on top and secured my hairdryer. I was on high speed and I was switching between low heat and medium heat uh, because sometimes the medium heat would get a bit too hot then I'd turn it down then I'd get too cold <laughs> I'd turn it up and that's how I was for about 20 minutes to begin with. I then took my hair down to see how it was progressing. I was kind of hoping it would be dry at this point but that was wishful thinking because my my hair was still damp so I put my hair back up in the fishnet tights back in the hooded dryer and I dried for another 20 minutes I then took it down and felt it and it did feel the tiniest bit damp but I couldn't be bothered drying anymore so I put my hair back up in the fishnet tights and the hooded dryer um just while I carried on doing stuff around the house for about half an hour and just while I filmed this voice over over. and I guess it's time to see the results wait I want to scrunch my hair out with foam again so in a bit of a rush because at this point my camera battery was flashing at me that it was gonna die <laughs> I scrunched out my hair with a pump of foam really liked how my hair turned out in my last video like I said before so I'm doing the same routine when I was scrunching out my hair still felt damp in some places unfortunately but this is how it turned out I would say considering my hair is still damp it looks quite good it has now been about an hour later I would say my hair is still a little bit damp in places in a perfect world I would have 
carried on drying my hair but I had things to do so I could not do that so I don't think that this combination of doing the fishnet tights and the hooded dryer was a complete fail I do think that it did work it did give nice results but it does take forever. Now the benefit to doing this routine to dry my hair was that my hands were completely free so I would do this in instances where I really need to wash and dry my hair but I don't have time to diffuse but I don't know I need to do work like edit a YouTube video which usually takes a few hours or edit stuff for Instagram, plan stuff for Instagram where I'm using my laptop and I need both of my hands free. In that instance then I would definitely do this again and if I'm busy doing something else and making <laughs> use of my hands then I won't mind so much the very long drying time. I was drying my hair for 45 minutes and usually when I'm diffusing like normal with just my diffuser it takes mm, I'd say max 30 minutes so it definitely took a lot longer and I still feel like I need to diffuse my hair for like another 20 minutes. Just as a reference I'm going to include a little clip now of how my hair turned out when I used just the fishnet tights and I will also include a clip of when I used just the hooded dryer by itself and then how my hair looks today with the two methods combined. Bearing in mind that my hair is still a bit damp so I probably could get a little bit more definition and a little bit more volume in my hair if I were to dry it for a bit longer but I remember I believe I had this exact same issue when I did the other two videos where my hair was taking forever to dry so so I think in the other two videos actually my hair was a little bit damp at the end as well <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this little wash day experiment here is some more content from me that I think you might enjoy and I will see you next time bye